Hello, both of you, Hello. lovely people. I have deeply enjoyed the first two episodes of Jugi Kamaloka, and especially your characters and your relationship. Thank um, you. <laughs> Kathleen, uh, I think that the mix of cultures in the show is really interesting, and I love how it's worked into the story. So what is your take on Dr. Pannon coming in as almost the outsider here, right? She's the one that's come to Hawaii. She's raising her kids here, working here. Yeah, I think she, um, she, <laughs> she's, she's had to, you know, have a good sense of humor. Uh, they, you know, she's got some really strange uh, stuff from her background, you know, as we all do. She, you know, Pennsylvania is this whole scrapple thing. It's the same thing as spam for Hawaii. But we, <laughs> but we have to like be able to kid each other and tease each other in love, obviously, with with much respect. And I think um, I think that was a really uh, easy way in when she married Benny. <laughs> Benny is much loved throughout the entire island and um, she kind of just rides on his coattails and like <laughs> learns from him on how to be a proper Hawaiian. <laughs> um, but she never forgets that she is a transplant, obviously. And she, um, but what a wonderful place to be a transplant in. Like, definitely. Yeah. I just <laughs> <that in heartbeat. laughs> Right. Um, and Jason, Benny, on the other hand, is so like, he just seems so like relaxed, carefree. He's just ready to like just give love all the time. Um, how does that translate not only to his marriage but also to his parenting style? I, I think that the the kids kind of like you know follow suit. They 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 you sort of lead by example rather than you know by the words. So I think that's Benny's take. It's like you know if you, if you're gonna um, you know kind of raise kids with a good attitude or, or positive sense of being and you know it's good to get into positive things so I think that's such a great plus to be able to show that you know as well as you know supporting that emotion in the family um, always kind of having that that perspective and putting it in perspective and and actually having the natural elements around to be able to tap into you know, to be able to do that. I mean, in other places, it maybe it'd be a hike in the woods or something, you know, on right. the mainland or, or a walk by the creek. But, you know, here we have the Pacific Ocean and you have these beautiful mountains and, and green and, and, and temperate climate. So you can do it just about any time of year. <laughs> right. So it's a good way. It's a good way to, to let off steam there. You oh, yes. the ocean right there. Um, now, on the other hand, like, I love that it's not like a good cop, bad cop dynamic with the kids. There is a real complicated mix of emotions and good moments and bad moments with Lahela especially. So Kathleen, can you talk about sort of the clash of working together, but also obviously, you know, loving each other? <laughs> oh yeah. Well that's the thing. They're constantly juggling who what hat am I wearing now? Am I being your daughter? Am I being your mother? Am I being your boss? Am I being your colleague? Um Oh, uh, <laughs> it's very confusing and it's um it definitely keeps both of them on their toes but I think they're the type of people who who uh thrive on um you know the the hardness of life or the difficulty right. and they just want to fit their fixers and their doers and um so I I I loved working with Peyton and I love the relationship that the writers built for these two women because um yeah it's a really complicated one that they're not just mother daughter they're also um colleagues which is just really special and hard and intricate and complicated. And I, I loved every minute of playing it because Peyton's amazing to work with, but also they, they wrote this really beautiful relationship between two women that I really, really loved playing. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it feels unique. Um, and, and I also and love- The other thing <laughs> that I loved is that we like, uh, we were always a unified front, me and mm -hmm. Benny. And mm -hmm. um, there were many times where our children, like we were teaching them, but they taught us a lot of lessons <laughs> throughout the course of the 10 episodes. Like we had to learn some, like there were moments where both of our sons and, and our daughter, you know, came to us and was like, come on, mom, come on, dad, you're better than this. <laughs> oh, I love that. Love that. I, I, can't, I can't wait to see more of that. And especially more of like these like comedic beats with uh, Benny and the boys. Cause I love every time they cut them out, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Show. Thank I can't you. wait for everyone to watch. <laughs>